Good evening. <clears throat> Today is uh, April 5th, 2019. Uh, I'm getting old, you know. <laughs> and um, I've been thinking about all the distractions, what I mentioned last time, you know, that um, there, are all, there are all kinds of uh, distractions for us, uh, sports, you know, television, you know, politics, our jobs, many things. And we're, we're surrounded. There's a world of distraction and uh, we uh, neglect the well-being of our souls. So, <clears throat> and then uh, there are all this bunch of religions, you know. But you have to start studying and analyzing what's going on, you know, what's really going on on Earth, because uh, it's pretty much on on our faces, you know. It's uh, it's like evident, you know. And but you have to, you know, add the dots, you know, to what's going on, and uh, see where the the powers of this system of the world, this matrix. Uh, are and uh, because they're there, you know, they're they are real. The, like I uh, I mentioned several times before, I found Mark passing because I have I was uh, intrigued by the the uh, allegory within the story uh, or the movies of the Matrix, especially the first one. I was uh, you know trying to see what was the Matrix. I uh, I found uh, a lot of stuff you know, about, about it, but the one that uh, I really uh, understood clearly, what you know, the, the in his uh, explained, uh, you know, masterfully that w what it is and what it means, and you know why we wake up and. Uh, or why we don't wake up from this system, you know, of control. So, um, but it's it's all clear. It's also it's being uh, it's all in the scriptures. It's all it's uh, uh, there there are prophecies about uh, this is what uh, the world in which we are right now. It's it's uh, it's. It's in the scriptures. It's in the Bible. So, and uh, I know a lot of people don't uh, like that because there's a, there's an antichrist sentiment around. So, you you, uh, but um, God doesn't want uh, anybody to to go to hell or to uh, be destroyed or uh, your soul to to be in in. Uh, you know, he wants your soul to be rescued. So, he, um, it's good that we talk about these things. And if you, uh, uh, and even, you know, like, uh, this guy called, uh, it's my friend in, in Facebook. He's a friend, a uh, personal friend of, uh, Mark. Uh, I don't know how close, but, you know, that's, they're, they're friends or if he's just a big fan like me, you know, so, uh, but I've seen him in pictures with him, so I know his, they know each other, so, but uh, he uh, he asked me if I, wanted, if I would, you know, chat with him live, sort of, I guess, debate him, you know, even though uh, I have a lot of affinity with the work of Mark, if he does too, yeah, like I always say, I don't have a hundred percent affinity with anybody. It's like uh, mm, I like the work of uh, Pastor Steven Anderson, but then uh, again, like uh, he's a uh, real radical in some things, like uh, homosexuals. You know, he has a big problem with that, and. Uh, And I do too, not with homosexuals as per se, but you know, just uh, the act. Obviously, I don't like that, and uh, 
the, the other day I, I even disagree or don't like or or, or or would like to rephrase some of the stuff you know like I said I have some friends that you know are uh, inclined to that like I said I'm not a witness of them doing anything so I don't know exactly what they do we can't really assume anything that, you know but uh yeah you get the hint you know that's that's going on and uh and uh but i said i am you know that's their business but don't mess with my family and and then i watched myself saying that and it's like why would i say that you know if i don't want it for my for my family why would i want it for them you know what i mean it's like yeah i hope you get out of that if you're into that because it's, it's, it's a sin it's a uh, that's why the the, the cities of uh, uh, Sodom and uh, Gomorrah were destroyed but um, because it was full of uh, this type of uh, uh, sin and uh, it, it, uh, I guess uh, God was saying that you know he uh, he expects uh, perfection from us so we are not gonna be perfect so therefore there is jesus you know so if if you don't get it you know uh, then you're being distracted because it's, it's right there it's in our faces now i understand and there's a lot of people taking advantage of that you know and they'll have to answer to god when the time comes you know because it's where we're here in a pre brief period of time if you're trying to get rich with that you know you 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 you're in bad shape you're gonna you're gonna pay for that you know so i understand that everybody needs uh resources for uh whatever uh, uh how do you call the technical uh, support you need and uh, financial for whatever it, you have to do uh, including uh, your you know uh, rent or whatever you, you if you're dedicated 100% to the work of uh, teaching then uh, I, I get that too you know does you need uh, you need to get paid but um that's there's a big uh, leap from that to you know to what they do in the all this uh so-called christian churches that are around so i have a big problem with them i don't go you know I'm, why would i go there guys you know laughing to my face you know that he's taking my money because I, I i need so much to be feeling good it's like the it's like what they used to do uh, uh, with the, the Catholics. They used to pay money to get out of purgatory, or you know, and uh, or or to be forgiven of sins, indulgences, you know. So pay that, pay that money. It's what you're doing. Is you're paying your indulgences, thinking just because you you pay the the the, the pastor. Or of a particular church, uh, you you being saved? And no, you know you don't don't do that. that it's just it, get DC, you know, at a personal level learning if you, if you wanna really do that. But not uh, and share your your thoughts and and your um, beliefs with others. And um, the other day, some guys that I ah, think your god of your rear end or whatever you know i'm like laughing because you know uh that's good for me you know he's uh because if i'm telling you the truth and and you don't take it and you you insult me that's a crown of glory for me you know so don't think if you if you're gonna uh insult me that you're gonna hurt me at all you know and uh, it's really laughable because you know you're not in front of me you you know 
most of the times people don't even have a face, so you ain't so tough. I don't, you know, not care. And then all this evidence of uh, what's going on around us, the world, like I said, the, all the prophecies and everything, and the world, uh, the, how the world is being controlled and manipulated by these forces, and historically what has happened. You know, World War Two and the creation of the State of Israel. And can knock, knock, you know. Who's there? The devil, you know. What do you want? Take over the world, you know. It's a, so they created that thing there, you know. It's the, 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 the Zionist movement. It's the synagogue of Satan. So they, they, they taken over this country, you know. That's why you have APAC there, you know. And you have the... The Zionist churches, you know, promoting the the, the well-being of uh, uh, the state of Israel. So it's bribing all these politicians to have a a, a foreign state be uh, um, taken care of by the United States and by the forces, military forces. Do you think the state of Israel will still be there? If the United States military wasn't backing them up and, and whatever, you know, they would have been gone by now, you know. So, but they created that and they were maintaining it and, uh, and now uh, promoting even more things for it, like the, you know, uh, establishing the Jerusalem as the capital. So, little by little, they've been, you know, uh, achieving their. their uh, goals and their uh, the, the goals of their agenda. So it's all you know. If you don't see it, mm, yes, you're being distracted. You know, it's right there. So don't run to them. Run to the other side. You know, it's uh, it's it's, it's kind of like yeah, kind of crazy. It's obvious. You know that that that's what's going on. The war all. Uh, the world is going to be a one world, you know, order because they need to put the mark of uh, the beast and everybody. So how are they going to do that now? Is, uh, it's possible with all the technology that's, that, that the world has. And that they need to have everybody, you know, uh, um, control to, to a degree in which uh, there's no escaping you know of their grip so that's what's been going on so um and uh if you don't think so that uh that there are dark forces of uh, you know that the, the, the enemy of our souls is uh, in control of uh, the system uh, this you know uh Let's, uh, I, wanted, I want you to listen to something that, you know, when Jesus was tempted in the desert, you know, by the devil, he, uh, he didn't rebuke or, or refute the, the devil when he said uh, that it showed him the, the kingdoms of the world, you know, and their glory. He told him, they're given to me. I can give it to whoever I want. So that's what these pe people have been doing. They've been dealing with the devil. And he's been giving them the, the, the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. But Jesus uh, rejected that because, you know, he's not dealing with the the the, the, the person or, or the, the entity in charge of the system. He's dealing with the real God of, the, of, the cre of creation, the real God of the universe. So he, you know, he's not going to fall for some cheap, you know, trick like that. And listen to this. Let me see if I can put it close enough to the microphone. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, Command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. 
Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him. See? That's what I'm talking about. And, and I heard this from another Christian that he was talking to Jeff uh, Berwick. And he, he brought uh, uh, this uh, uh, verse in the Bible. And I thought it was, uh, I really resonated with that. Because that makes it clear, you know, who is in control of, uh, of the system of the world. Because we, uh, uh, as human beings, allow the intervention of that uh, dark entity into you know the our world and um, and that's why this became a school you know for our souls to to choose between uh, you know uh, accepting the sacrifice of uh, the and and the uh, and the plan of God you know versus just trying to rescue ourselves you know because um uh, we do, you know, this line, and it's not like Jesus came and said, you know, chill, because I got this. No, he came and then started teaching everybody good behavior, you know, and, uh, you know, and, uh, and really uh, being uh, as close to perfection as we could be, because if we uh, just uh, become like the the Pharisees, that, and then, the, you know, we we don't we, we become religious and then we lose the perspective of what's really important and then what's what we really have to do you know in order to uh, call really create call ourselves uh, Christians so I think that's uh, good enough for now and uh, and mm, if somebody wants to, you know, comment or even debate me, you know, I don't have a problem. I'm not, you know, like I said, like I have a, I have a sixth grade education that I cheated my way up to and I'm not even, uh, you know, I'm not a, somebody that's a scholar or anything like that. So it's just a, it's a simple, basic uh common sense uh, talk that I could have with somebody, you know, and I don't use big words or anything. It's just uh, whatever I've been learning, but I do like learning, so don't think uh, I don't know anything either, you know, but um, yeah, if, I, if, uh, if you have something to say and something I can resonate with, then maybe we can learn from each other, okay? And, uh, thank you. God bless you and good night.